Hey guys, uh, King Cody here. I wanted to come with a uh, video on going over specific heroes and how they are applied to hunting, in my opinion. So uh, we'll jump right into it. I'm just going to start at the top of this list and scroll down as we go. Um, you have Theseus and Achilles here at the top, both infantry heroes. Theseus you're going to want to use on multi-target. He's going to do the most damage. Achilles you're going to use want to use on single target. He's going to do the most damage on single target. Um, so what I mean by multi-target and single target, in case you don't know, uh, anytime there's a, it's an archer hero that's weak against archers, there's only going to be one monster you're hitting. So Achilles would be what you'd want to go with on that. Uh, and then multi-target is catapult monsters. Uh, there's always going to be five. I'll show you really quick what I mean. <clears throat> so here's a minotaur kill. If you'll go click and watch the video, you'll see that there's only one minotaur. There always will be one Minotaur on those, and on multi-targets, like this Callisto here, you're going to see that there are always five. So, there's going to be four tanked by your main tank, and there's going to be one tanked by your off-tank position. So, you want to make sure your tanks, obviously, you, had, you train up your all, all four stats on those, unlike your DPS, uh, you'll see that what I mean by this is Vitality and Block is trained up high on your tanks as well as skill and swordsmanship in his case. But like somebody that's just like a damage like Gannicus, you'll notice that I don't really, well, he has his Vitality and, and Dexterity up, but really let's uh, like, uh, let's say Hercules. Yeah, see, I don't really prioritize these guys on Vitality and Dex Dexterity because they're, they they don't take any damage, so really all you care about is the bottom two on those because that's the ones that do damage. And I apologize if you already know this, just trying to go over everything uh, for mm -hmm. just in case people are watching this are newer than others. <clears throat> Pompeii, I believe, is your fifth highest damage. Uh, catapult, um, catapult is a damage class, but Pompeii is kind of like a wild card. He is a very good tank as well, so a lot of people use Pompeii. And just run five catapults on like infantry catapult monsters where you know infantry dps really isn't that high there's no hero that is super high on infantry so definitely train pompey bellerophon obviously is the top damage um of all, out of the entire game number one horse number one everything so you're going to want you, and you can use him as a tank so i would use uh i would definitely max all four of his 550. gainicus is your second highest archer damage so you're going to want to train Gannicus. Dry up, you can ignore. I did that early game. Uh, not really the greatest for hunting. Pyrrha is... Uh, I used her when I was having trouble with keeping my tanks alive. And she does have decent damage. Not really a huge necessity to train her. Just something to do uh, if you are having trouble staying alive. <clears throat> because she does have a damage reduction ability. Leonidas is kind of like a weird infantry. Most infantries are more tanky than others. Um, other classes, Leonardus. Leonidas isn't really that great of a tank. Uh, he's more focused on damage. Sometimes his 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 damaging abilities are, can be very sporadic. So sometimes he will still be out damaged by these two up here, but other times he will rise above them when you get lucky. So uh, technically, you could say Leonidas is your highest infantry damage hero. Uh, Lincius is very underrated. A lot of people don't know about him. He's the second highest horse damage. I use him all the time. He is a top five damage class, especially like on like horse catapult monsters such as Callisto. You're definitely gonna want to have want to have him in the party because he's gonna he always does about the same amount of damage as the second uh, as your second highest catapult damage or Agrippa Senior. So uh, he'll always pretty much tie her. I'll, I'll, I'll go show you right now just an example. Um, like this Callisto here that I hit, level 6 Callisto, you'll see that Lincius and Agrippa Senior are pretty much neck and neck. A lot of times Lincius will actually pull above Agrippa Senior. I'm actually surprised she outdamaged him here. So you're, you can see that he is definitely worth training. All right, back to it. Uh, we were on Lincius. So Odysseus is your number one highest catapult damager. You're going to want to train him. Hercules, your fourth highest archer damage. You're going to want to train him. Helen is obviously your healer, so you're going to want to use Helen on any level 5 or 6 archer heroes. I'm sorry, archer monsters, because you got to have a healer with those. Spartacus, ignore. That was early game, uh, and I didn't know what I was doing. Hippo, ignore. You don't need her. Agrippa Senior is the second highest 
catapult damager. Going to want her. Hyacinth is the third highest archer damage. Definitely train her. Elena, ignore. You don't need her. Uh, Gorgo is the, obviously the healer for catapults. You're going to want to use her on any level 5 or 6, so it's smart to go ahead and max her out as for the highest amount of damage from her as well. Uh, Hannibal Barca, I believe, is the fourth highest damage um, for catapults, so definitely going to want to train him. Cleopatra is the number one highest damage uh, archer. Uh, it actually ties with Bellerophon. When uh, you're using horse archer monsters, you'll see that Cleo and Bello are pretty much doing about the same damage. So, very strong hero. You're going to want to train her. Eighth uh, is going to be your fourth highest, or no, third highest uh, catapult damage. So, train her. Um, then you got Pandora and Amphion. Um, both these guys boost the entire party's damage. Pandora actually gives some damage reduction as well. So, uh, in certain situations, you might want to use those after you have all, you know, pretty much all of your heroes trained out max damage 550. You're going to find yourself not using them as much because you're just not going to be able to get as much damage out of boosting your party with these guys just because they do so low, low damage themselves. It's actually better not to run them uh, late game, um, in my experiences anyways. Um, Octavius don't need, Tiresias don't need. You'll notice that I'm no longer having S's over here. This is because I don't train these guys. Hylas, you technically could use, um, apologies, my kid's coming in. Uh, Hylas, you technically could use if uh, you wanted to for archers because he is top, he is the fifth highest archer damage. Um, if you wanted to run all archers, like instead of running a, uh, an infantry on infantry archer, you could because infantry is pretty low damage so what you could do is you could just take that out and then like train Gannicus. i think that's what i was going for up here you could train use Gannicus as your tank and just train him up his dexterity mm -hmm. and his vitality all the way up and you could just run five archers in that case you would need hylas i will probably be training him up very soon it's just something i haven't got around to um here's the rest of the guys you're not really going to want to use them so uh Yep, I uh, hope this helps. See you in the next video.